Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is one of the new kind of popular contemporary books that was kind of surfacing a lot in 2013, so I wanted to share my review. I finished this back in December and I'm really enjoying Rainbow Rowell's writing style. I also have read her other contemporary YA book, which is Eleanor and Park, which looks like this. So if you guys have not checked out her writing or her books, I highly recommend them. I do have a review up on Eleanor and Park and I wanted to share my review for Fangirl because I really liked this. I'm going to do a spoiler free kind of really quick plot kind of review summary type of spiel and then I'm mainly just going to tell you guys what I thought. I love the covers of these. I think that both Eleanor and Park and Fangirl are really really cute and cool looking. Um, I especially love the bright green color of Fangirl because it stands out really nicely on the shelf so I'm all for the covers of these. Um, now as far as a really quick plot summary, this is basically told from the point of view of Kath who is a freshman going into her first year of college. Kath has a twin sister named Ren, so her and her sister are going off to college and Kath and Ren have kind of always been really close growing up. They've been, you know, pretty much best friends, I would say, because they are twins and so they've done everything together and they have this kind of bonding relationship over a fan fiction series, fictional series that um, the author has made up, which if I'm correct, it's based on Harry Potter and Rainbow Rowell's kind of love for Harry Potter. So there's this fictional series that they write fan fiction for and they always have. And then when they're going off to college, Ren tells Kath that she really just wants to kind of separate a little bit. She wants to go out and meet more people and have like a really good college experience. So she doesn't want to room with Kath. Um, when they were always kind of hanging out with people in high school, it was always really Ren's friends and Kath just kind of hung out and went along with it. So Kath is kind of left on her own starting out with college. Um, she doesn't really know what to do because she's never been as sociable as Ren and she's just kind of left alone. So she has a new roommate that she has to kind of deal with that's a randomly chosen roommate and um, her and her sister both just grew up with their dad because their parents were divorced at an early age. So there's a lot that happens in this book. I really like this book because it's almost like you're in somebody's whole year of their life for a segment of time and I like it because it is a very true kind of realistic portrayal of what a lot of people's freshman year of college is like I believe because I know that people think when you go to college like oh it's gonna be so much fun you're gonna go to all these parties and be all this and that and I felt like this story was very realistic of how it can be and how it is for a lot of people so I really enjoyed that I also like the fan fiction aspect of it because I never have been a reader of fan fiction or a writer, but I also kind of relate to the internet to worlds. If you're on here watching YouTube videos or if you make YouTube videos, you're evolved into, you know, I feel like, I don't want to say like the nerdy web part of the internet, but you're just, you're into the internet and kind of the whole kind of same thing. Um, and especially with us who like books and reading. Um, and I also was a big Harry Potter fan and still am a big Harry Potter fan and I know that um, I've been a huge member of the fandom of Harry Potter. I never participated in the fan fiction, but I've been a part of the fandom, so it's just cool to kind of see that. So I liked that she wrote part of the uh, fan fiction, and that's kind of like what her world revolves around. So she's thrown into this new environment. She's not really hanging out with her sister as much anymore, and she's also kind of concerned about her dad back at home because he's left by himself now that they've both moved out. And then her mother decides to come back and try to get to know her and her sister more. So she's kind of um, thrown for a loop her freshman year of college. She has a lot of things going on. And I like that because not only are you worried about one certain thing about the book, but there's a lot of moving kind of parts and components. And there's also a little bit of a love story, love interest for this. Um, her and her friend Reagan, who is her roommate Reagan, become really close and kind of close friends. Reagan's friend Levi, um, who's a boy, is there and she kind of comes close with him so that that's kind of a future kind of love triangle thing that goes on um, which is also really cute and really sweet. I love the writing of Rainbow Rowell. I think that she creates these really unique kind of interesting plot stories that are so interesting to read. Um, the only thing I will say that I, I won't say I like didn't like this about the book, but that I wish that the book offered was more because I feel like 
these really great things happen and then the book just kind of ended and I was like what that's it like I need more from this like I wish that there would be like another companion series like maybe told from um, the Levi character's point of view or I wish that there would be like a sequel although this type of story wouldn't really work as well with a sequel I don't think but uh, it's a really cute kind of story and probably being all over the place with this plot analysis but essentially it follows Kath in her freshman year of college and some of the things that she has to deal with in college from being on her own, making new friends, she's in a couple of classes that give her some trouble because she wants to be an English major um, with the writing and she also deals with her fan fiction on the side and then more of her personal life between her dad and her mom and her sister. So it's very interesting because it is this kind of big year of somebody's life. As far as the characters, I again thought Kath was very relatable. I felt like she was a very interesting character to read because the portrayal was very realistic of her college year. So some of the things that she was, you know, thinking and saying were very um, understandable and relatable. So I felt like she was a really good character. I love the character of Reagan, who's her roommate. Reagan's very spunky and kind of feisty and she kind of encourages Kath um, on things and she really becomes a great friend for Kath and I think that they got really close. And they were just a really good kind of um, roommate pair. So I really liked both of them. Um, and then the boy Levi, who is Reagan's friend, is also really cute. He's an older boy. I think he's two years older than Kath. Um, so he's, of course, that older kind of cute boy male character figure, and I loved his personality. He's definitely um, a really interesting person as well, and I felt like all of them together were a really cool kind of group of friends, and I always like to say, like, people that I would, you know, like to have as friends in my real life, and I think that that always makes a, a book more enjoyable for me if there's characters that you kind of relate to and people that you would hang out with in your real life. I think it makes it fun. So I love the characters and I like how Kath progresses as the book goes on because she definitely has a lot of growth and a lot of um, personal kind of things that happen to her, um, especially from her being more independent and kind of fitting in more. At the very beginning, she was more um, reliant on her sister, Ren, and then she kind of um, becomes her own person and becomes a little bit more independent, and she kind of expands her horizons. Overall, five out of five stars for this book. Um, I hope you guys check it out. I try not to tell too much about it because, um, I mean, I hate to ruin books for anybody. I know that none of that was a spoiler, but I always like to kind of just give a general idea of whether I liked it or not. If you guys have similar tastes to me, you might like it as well. So I definitely recommend you guys to check this out, especially if you like contemporary. This was one of my favorite books of 2013, and I think it's really cute. Um, I am interested in picking up her other book called Attachments, which is an adult novel, I believe, and I'm hoping that she'll have some more books come out. Um, I would assume so because I think that all of the three that she has have gotten a pretty popular response from a wide variety of people and audiences. So I highly recommend you guys to check out her reading. I loved it. Um, and I think that's it. So I wanted to just do a really quick kind of blurb on that. I hope you guys liked this. I hope you all are doing very well. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.